This video will show you how to create a Division 6 architectural submittal using the Autotext feature of the database. And to show how powerful the room parameters and Autotext features of the database are, especially when you may have to start the submittal process not knowing all of the materials to be used, or you may receive changes after the submittal has already been completed. We're going to use as an example here that we don't have any of the laminate colors selected. So ahead of time, I have created a configuration file that includes a PLAM with the colors to be determined, white melamine interiors. So that will include all of our basic construction methods, uh, our standard hardware that we use because we don't have any information, and then in the materials, we have color to be determined. And on our doors, we have please advise. So the color is going to be de to be determined on those sheets as well. So we'll go ahead and just hit OK. So we're going to fast forward through the drawing process here of going and getting 2D CAD drawings, then uh, scaling them to the correct scale to use uh, for our wall input, then saving the rooms uh, that we want to draw into the symbol library. Putting that symbol into a room, snapping walls to it. You can keep or delete any of the text that you want. Now we're going back to reference to, for the size of the cabinets. Now we're drawing the cabinets in the cabinet vision. And the section information is actually built into every single cabinet on the end view, which we will see in just a minute. Once the cabinets are in, we put the countertops in, we measure for the radius corner, we put the fillet on the corner of the cabinets, and then we edit the shape of the cabinet so that we have splash on the walls that need splash. We have finished edges on the walls that need finished edges, profiles where they're needed. Now we get to editing the sections. So we'll delete the auto text features that we don't need. Once we have the cabinet text figured out exactly where we want it, we send it to the symbol library. First we did the sink cabinet, now we're doing the drawer door base. We're going to do the same thing. Edit the cabinet and send the auto text features to the symbol library. Now we're doing the upper cabinet. Again, we'll edit it, send it to the symbol library. And we inserted a plan view onto the drawing page and entering in the plan view symbols, including the room note text symbol. Now we have the elevation and we're entering in the elevation title block with the room note symbol. Now we're, we put in a color to be determined note in the page as we don't know the colors yet. And now we'll go through and edit our dimensions. We'll put in some of the predefined markers that are in a symbol block that is saved. Pick the section markers that we want to use and we'll rename the section markers for the correct name and sheet that the details will be on. Now we'll go ahead and start inputting the different cabinet sections with their markers and title blocks. And all of their auto text was saved as a symbol into the symbol library. So it's very easy to just bring it in, locate it. It's already correct because we edit it at the cabinet level. Once we have the cabinets, the countertop section in, we can locate a placer for the upper cabinet, then enter in the upper cabinet details. All right, and we know all this is correct because we already checked it. And again, all the materials are to be determined at this point. Okay. Alright, so that is our first room on the submittal. 
So now if you can imagine, you've drawn this job, you have lots of pages of drawings done, and you um, sent this off. So we're going to save this. And you've already sent the job off and closed it down, you're all done. Now two weeks later, your architect calls you and he says, hey, I've got the colors and I need you to send me updated drawings. So you go find your drawing. And you go into each room that he's picked colors on, and here we're in this room. And we're going to go in, and he says, yep, I wanted, um, for all my base cabinets, I wanted PL1. Uh, I wanted grained material, want white melamine interiors. If it's an exposed interior, we'll just have it be PL1, PL1. For all my upper cabinets, I want PL2. And we'll say it's PL2 solid material with melamine interiors and PL2 solid with PL2 interiors um, if it was exposed interiors. Um, drawer boxes we can leave the same. Let's say maybe he decides to change the poles Maybe he's changed your uh, drawer guides to DS Pros, and he's changed all your hinges to Bloom 120s. Um, you need to make sure your doors match your cabinets. So you're going to go in here and just pick your um, base cabinet and drawer section first, which we said was PL1s. So let's say that the doors will be PL1 uh, face, grain, white back and three mil PVC edges. And now your uppers, we know those were PL2 solid. So PL2 solid doors and white backs and three mil. And so now we have these picked. You can see that the asterisks are telling us that the uppers are different from the all. And then we're going to go OK. Now you're going to come over here to your notes, and you're going to go DL, caps lock, DL1 equals Formica something. And then you're going to come over here and go DL2 equals Wilson Art. Oops. Something. And let's say that the um, countertop one equals um, something else. All right. Now you're dreading having to redo all these drawings. However, if you look here in your plan view, you have your notes. In your elevation view, you have your notes. In your cabinet section, you have your notes. And if you look real carefully here, you have your PL1 edge banding on your unfinished ends. You have on your finished ends your PL1 vertical grain, your edge banding. Your doors, we picked 3 mil edge banding, so here we have our doors that are PL1 with white backs and 3 mil edge banding. Everything changed to a 120 hinge instead of a 110. Your poles changed to the 3 by one and a half. Everything has been updated in your drawing. All your colors, there's your PL2, 3 mil on the doors. This has all been changed. So right now, I don't use a legend because I use this. So my drawings are ready to go back out to the architect now. I didn't touch any of these. Not only that, 
but because I changed all this stuff at the room level, I can now go to my screen and machine center and all of my materials have all been changed correctly. So this job's ready to cut. Uh, and if I just need to order materials, I'll just pick everything in here, do a fake run, and the system will calculate how many sheets of each of those materials I need to order. And it'll also show me how my sawyer needs to cut them out. So I'm now ready to order all my materials. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I uh, hope you'll get a lot of use out of this database if you decide you want to buy it.